Texture Effects comes with a robust masking tool set. Every adjustment has a mask attached at the bottom of it to allow for selective adjustments. Each mask will default to none. To selectively apply the adjustment to your image, first decide if you would like to apply a simple spot mask or a more precise brush mask. A spot mask allows for you to easily mask out or mask in the adjustments to a single region. To move or change the shape of your spot mask, just click on the center icon to activate the spot mask shape. You can resize, rotate, and drag the spot shape using the on-screen manipulation tool. Click the icon again to turn it off. The transition slider controls the blend between the spot mask and the image, so the larger values are going to produce a longer, softer transition, and the lower values will produce a shorter, harder transition. You also have color aware strength. This is going to control how color or edge aware the mask should be based on the center point chosen. Higher values indicate an increase in awareness, which is really good for more precise selections, and lower values indicate less awareness, allowing for a more natural transition. You also have a density slider, which controls the opacity of the overall mask. Increasing this will make the whole mask more transparent. The brush mask allows for you to make more precise and detailed selective adjustments. The white revealing mask and black concealing brush is selected by default so you can begin painting out the adjustments immediately. To paint in the adjustments instead, first invert your mask to a black concealing mask and select the white revealing brush. The strength slider will control the strength and flow of the brush color that you've selected. At 100, the brush is at full strength and flow, and at lower values, it will only apply a percentage of the strength and flow, building up to the full value as you work. The brush size controls the size of the overall brush, and the hardness controls the edge hardness of the brush. So a value of zero will produce a very soft feathered brush edge, while a value of 100 will produce a clean hard edge with no transition. In addition to adjustment level masking, we have overall masking. This allows you to selectively apply the overall effect that you've created. The overall mask is located at the bottom of the adjustment panel. Both the spot masking and the brush masking are available in the overall masking area, and the tool set is very similar as the adjustment masking that we just covered. There are two additional tools located in this tool set. There is an opacity slider at the top of the masking panel, and that will control the overall transparency of the entire effect that you've applied. There's also a color aware tool located in the brush mask area, which controls whether the brush being used is color or edge aware or not. Color aware is good for more precise selections. Turning color aware off allows for a more natural transition. For additional resources on texture effects, visit topazlabs.com slash texture effects.